big bombshell from former Menudo member Roy Russolo. He says that Jose Menendez drugged and sexually assaulted him before he was brutally killed alongside his wife by his sons, their sons, Lyle and Eric. I worked on this story a lot at the Daily News. It was a national story, probably international in some aspects. I went to the trial out in L.A., not a long time, but a few times. Met Robert Rand, who's a, an author who wrote a great book about the Menendez brothers. One of his books, I think, was uh, turned into a TV series or show. That did, I think it was a series. And a uh, nice guy, knows an awful lot about this stuff. And he's the person who told me, and he's not lying. He said, Ricky Martin was on tape explaining that Jose Menendez sexually assaulted him. And I think at the time, his manager was Benny Medina, who's a um, very powerful, popular, Matt, J. Lo's manager. Benny's had a lot of people. He's gay himself. And he did not want that information that Ricky so bravely gave to a, um, well, it was to Robert Rand. And at the end of the day, all the stuff he had that really would have been such a bombshell, it went nowhere. It just went nowhere. Now, what they're not saying <clears throat> about this incident is how exactly Roy claims to have known Jose during the time of this incident. But, you know, it's not outside the realm of possibility. If the guy was a, a, a sex nut and a pedophile, the way he treated his kids, if you are to believe their testimony in which they cry, I mean, I was there when they cried. I mean, I, I saw veins in their forehead pop out when they were explaining what happened to them. The Menendez murder was one of the first podcasts I did way back, almost six years ago. The show was very different back then. Um, and I was such a neophyte at it. It probably sounds ridiculous today. I wish I could take back the first 40, 50 shows I did and redo them. But it is what it is. You know, it's a new field and you got to feel it out. But, you know, when you see two brothers on the stand with such agony on their faces, I don't think you can coach that. I don't think you can instill that in somebody who doesn't have great acting ability. And the Menendez brothers did not. And I believe what they said about their dad, you know. And you gotta, you got to remember, Lyle Menendez worked as an executive in the music business during the 80s and 90s. He was very tight with the Latin community. And look, the fact that he was the way it's alleged he was is the biggest open secret in the music industry. Everybody's talked about this, mentioned it, brought it up, then it dies down. Well... May 2nd, we'll get to be able to stream Rossello's story from Peacock, but from the trailers and promos that were released this week, there's, there's no doubt that this, this guy is leveling a very serious allegation that seems to more or less jive with what Lyle and Eric also claimed about their dad in the 90s, that he would sexually abuse them for years during their childhood. I mean, the linchpin of their defense really what it boiled down to was telling the jury that they lived in fear from the abuse. And, and they only killed their parents after claiming their dad threatened, uh, threatened them when they said they would expose what he'd done. And the mother was like, you know, just a, a shithead. Didn't want to know, didn't want to hear. She put her head in the ground when the kids would complain. There was one time where one of the brothers had white short. I think it was Eric. I forget which brother. One of them had white shorts on. His father had allegedly done something to his anus. And uh, there was a red spot. And the mother didn't want to know about it. What mother doesn't want to know about a red blood spot on your kid's ass? Ugh, fucking people are unbelievable. So I believe this story wholeheartedly. Because I remember what those kids said. That the father would take them into the bathroom and tell them there's nothing wrong with being with another man or your father because this is what Greek soldiers did before war they got together and men were with men and women with women it's totally natural he just drilled this into the head not to mention what he drilled into their butts because I remember hearing stories about him putting electric uh, 
electric toothbrushes, anything he could find, he'd put inside them, like a real piece of shit. So I'm, I'm all for this story coming out. And, you know, um, no one really has ever publicly backed this story that Jose might have sexually abused minors. Everybody's thought about it in Hollywood. Some have the goods, like Robert Rand. But the question is, will it have any impact on the Menendez brothers' case? Because their lawyers, their lawyers have been trying for years to secure a new trial. They've had a few unsuccessful appeals. But I'm telling you right now, I got a hunch, and I'm good with hunches. I got a hunch this news will have them getting that appeal and, dare I say, released from prison. That's the way I feel.